Hey there everybody, Kopiki here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we managed to defeat Hopper, or was his name Topper? Uh, he goes by a lot of names. In all honesty, his name just keeps changing. But, we got ourselves a little bit of an introduction here to the Picture Moons. Picture Moons are essentially, you look at the map, you try to figure out what's the difference. Sometimes they kind of, they're sometimes it's not really differences, it's kind of like, what are you looking at and when are you supposed to be looking at it? as you can see here the moon that is based off of this area is back at Cascade Kingdom so sadly we can't go to Cascade Kingdom just yet I mean we can if we want to but we actually don't want to for right now though what we want to do is we kind of want to head into this painting right here and then we get ourselves a very cool Super Mario 64 callback probably told me that I probably should have actually changed his outfit but you know what that's fine anyways we're back at Sand Kingdom and we can essentially end up now getting this moon every single almost every single area has their own sort of um, what you call us uh, painting sporting a different level you can't really access all of them because of the fact that they don't really want you to sequence break I mean you can if you want to but I don't really think that people can, you know, you can't fully sequence break in this game. Not by much. But people are figuring out things. Speedrunners always tend to end up figuring out a whole lot of stuff to a point that it's like, Damn, son, calm down. It's just a video game. And I'm like, yep, that's, that's kind of how real life works. I need that fish to go away so I can get this cheap cheap. If I know I'm looking at it now, they kind of, they do look like cheap cheaps. I don't know why I thought that they did not look like cheap. He's not even looking at the fishing rod. Come on, be attracted to the fishing rod. Why won't you be attracted to fishing rod? Get in there. And... Crap. Alright, great. Now I gotta wait. But the music in Lake Kingdom is actually pretty nice. Nice is very calming. In fact, that I actually more so prefer, um, like, Super Mario 3D World, and I'm glad that Mario Maker actually put this, uh, put the Super Mario 3D World overlay in the game, or layout, I should say, and, and I love that theme, because the water theme is very unappreciative. And it's like, it's really, really nice to actually end up hearing it, too. Come on, there we go. Give me my moon. Booyah! Alright, so, why are we still here? Well, essentially, the reason as to why we're still here is mainly because there are still a few moons that we can get. And the more moons we get, we don't have the capabilities of skipping the level. Don't think that if you end up collecting enough moons, you can be able to just skip the level all willy-nilly. No, it actually does not work that way. It actually works in a very totally different way, where you still have to get the required moons to actually progress through plot. The game doesn't really calculate the amount of moons you have in other levels, but they more so um, calculate in the moons that you end up getting in that kingdom itself. So, you know, don't think otherwise. And I know it's kind of sad, it sucks, but that's just how the game works. Anyways, we need ourselves a cheap cheap here, and we need to go ahead and go into that pool that I thought would be able to be activated, but it has to be after you've taken care of the Brutals. So, you go on the water, say, so cute, close range cuteness, I can hardly stand the adorableness. And then she ends up giving you a power moon for, you know, your troubles. And we can keep this cheap cheap in there forever. But not forever, it actually does end up leaving after a while. Anyways, we got ourselves another place we need to go to. And actually, it's right over here. You kind of see that little zipper over there? Yeah, we need that. I'm a bard, get on that, get in there. Oh, we already went in there already. Never mind, not that one. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a um, moon that we can get now. Oh, man. Love it. Love the movement. So good! I love it so much. Seriously. Damn. Right, come on. Why are you killing me, man? There we go. Alright, uh, come here, Cappy. Alright, let me see. Uh, 
do we got do we get all the coins in this area uh no we didn't because we have 29 we should probably end up actually i don't even know do we get really get max uh see the thing is i can't tell if we did or not because there's no real indicator well actually no there's an indicator in fact this is a very good segue for us to look at the brochure anyways Window shopping. Considering the most luxury garment of to this kingdom has to offer, the luck lady dress is displayed in a show window of Water Plaza. Of all the garments created to the luck ladies, only the very best and most beautiful is selected for this. Great honor. It's a national treasure. It's said that wearing this dress brings eternal happiness, so naturally every bride yearns for it. Sadly, this lovely one, this lovely one of kind, is not for sale. Unless, you know, you got any way to steal it, then, you know, then you're kind of bad for it. Anyways, we got zippers of mystery, which essentially has to explain the whole zipper mechanic here. Then we have Dory, the aquatic buddy. This gentle creature spends its day swimming gracefully in a lake in Lake Lamode. If you're confident in your abilities, swimming alongside it might make for some wonderful memories. Although able to live in any aquatic environment, some have heard Dor Dory complain that the lake is too small. Keep an eye out for Dory-themed souvenirs once tourists just love which Taurus just loves. Soaked in history, once a spot for design to relax and even day cloth. This soaking pool has a rich history. Such most activity centers around the lake town. This is now a well-known fishing hole. Yep, and no kidding about that. Visit the water plaza, especially if you enjoy breathing air. Swim with the local dory for an unforgettable experience and admire the gown that qualifies as a national treasure. And for some reason, Bowser ends up taking it and ends up giving it to Peach because he 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 respects Peach. At least I think he does. Even though he's kind of like trying to force, make her force marry him. Bowser's weird. Like I I don't I don't get him. He confuses me. <laughs> it's like on one end it's like, dude, she does does not want want you, man. Just give it up. Like, seriously. Anyways, going here, we can get more of these magical zippers. I think there are more zippers later on in the game, but not even sure if they actually do end up appearing again. So, for this one, I actually do like this one. Uh, but first of all, we kind of want to go this way first. Because there is a secret moon here that we can find if we go through this zipper right here. And booyah! I don't know why you need to actually unzip this, but you know, just in case, just unzip it. You fall down, get your moon, and you take the pipe to go back. Up. Simple, lather, rinse, repeat. Let's go. As I I'm actually kind of shocked that I actually hit that, but it's okay. All right, so we need to go back onto that platform, but luckily enough, there is a pla. There is nothing but um, inviso blocks here. Guys love Inviso blocks, right? That's utilized a lot in Mario and um, Kaizos and a bunch of other games. Ugh. Inviso blocks are usually always the worst, but not that bad though. All right. In all fairness, we actually probably didn't even need to really unlock that because we probably could just make the jump ourselves. Hell, we could probably even make this jump if we're actually good enough. Yeah, so, it's like, yeah, half of the time you don't really need to use every single mechanic in the game, you know? Oh no, the Goombas are going to all attack me. Why not I take care of you guys? Goodbye. <laughs> Later, losers. Now I gotta get myself back. Yeah, let's go this way. There we go. Look at that. Smooth platforming at its finest, ladies and gents. It's literally by far my favorite platformer. I mean, close to a hat in time, but hat in time doesn't really like hat in time. Funny enough, ends up putting the cappy hat. And can I just say, like, if you end up putting that, if you um use that mod in hat in time, the game actually the platforming in that game becomes not trivial at a, at all. Like it becomes so easy to break that is ridiculous having the capabilities of jumping again and also holding yourself and hovering a bit in the air is really good like it's just 
really good. Anyways, this rock disappeared thanks to Bowser um, minions leaving. So now we can go ahead and access this thing. And I'm going to actually just tell you right now, I'm actually going to speed this up. So let's go. All right. That actually did not take me as long as I thought it was going to take. I actually thought that would have taken me even longer. But no, it did not. Cool. <laughs> the successful repair job. All right, we are like 10 minutes into into ourselves, so let's all continue. Is there anything further I need to get? Also, I still haven't checked if I even have all, if I collected all the coins yet, and um, nothing actually tells me. Ah, oh, actually, if I press the Y button, 44. That's, that's bad. Come here, Chi-Chi. Uh, let me see. If I was the last set of coins, which I for some reason ended up spending like a good half an hour to actually find them damn things, because it seems to be like the only set of coins that I can never find. Seriously. Why is that always a problem with me? Eh. Then again, to be fair, it means we get to hang out in this area a lot longer. So you shake the, if you shake the joy cons on your pro controller, you basically do like a spin attack. Which is really good. You can I you can also do it like naturally as well by pressing both the descend and ascend button? Oh, that's kinda weird. That is kinda weird. Aha! Here's a fruit. We need this. We sadly do have to actually go through from here, because the cheap keep is actually pointless. So let's go ahead and take this fruit back, shall we? You know, it's a good thing we're still wearing our water gear or else it'd be kind of weird traversing, just saying. Did you enjoy the water plaza? Oh yeah, the water plaza was a fantastic place. It had so many memories, except for the brutal problem. That, that's actually kind of bad. Anyways, let's go inside this. Uh, we have to go back to the plaza here. And then we have to take the fruit in here, and sadly, however, we won't be able to actually um, get the moon right away. Because this actually does not appear until after you've taken down the Brutals, so, yeah. I guess as we're waiting for this thing to grow, I guess we can go ahead and go out of our way to try to find the last few remaining coins, so. Let's just put that in there and let that do its job. There's a Cat Peach over here. I think there's a Mario one as well. But it doesn't really matter. We already went down there, and there are actually no purple coins down there. Oh, there's a glowy spot there, though. Huh. What is that? Is that an extra moon? Or is that just an area that just consists of nothing? Because usually you find these glowy spots, and sometimes they just give you coins. Or a heart. Yeah, that was worse, too. Oh, the heart actually restores all your um oxygen gauge back. That's kind of weird. Uh... Is that purple? Aha! I see four pepper coins. Let us get at them. Let us get at them. Yeah, th those are words that just came out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, thank you. Alright, so we're essentially just missing three more. So that means there are a set of three that we need to find then. That's Cappy. That is where the um thing used to be displayed. Sadly, Bowser has taken it, and we need to stop him because Bowser is doing bad things. And every single time that boy d keeps doing bad things, the bad things keep getting worse. Luckily enough, the residents are not blaming us for the crap, though, because that would be some. That'd be bad. <laughs> like, you imagine they actually just blame us again, and they're like, yeah, it was Mario who did it. It's like, are, are you serious right now? Guys, I'm literally trying to help you. Why why are you doing this? Oh yeah. Press this to activate the water elevator. Man, if you can't swim, that means you're pretty much screwed. Because oh well then to be fair, in this world I'd pretty much be screwed anyways, because I cannot swim. So yeah. I don't mind the water area. The water the water is really fine though. But we still need to find the rest of those purple coins. So what we're gonna do. Besides means you're swimming all the way up here. We're actually going to go ahead and uh, give me a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking. Thinking quickly. Getting coins. Aha. No, it's not here. Oh, there's a rock. Oh, I thought there was a rock there. All right. 
I'm gonna cut until I actually end up finding the rest of the purple coins, so be right back. Alright, so we're finally cutting back. Um, first off, we also did find some other moons. I didn't bother to get them yet until I actually was very sure that we can find the last few things that we need to get. Um, this glowy thing, I think we already got already. Yeah, we already got that one already. Um, at the reserve point, those rocks actually will end up consisting with an actual moon, but until then, uh, they're just very kickable. And yes, these things have the same property as durians. That's always nice. Anyways, the last, um, few coins are actually in this thing right here, which I did not see for the life of me, because, as per usual, uh, things are blending into the game, and I can never see anything. <laughs> Anyways. Those are all your moons, that you, um, all your wonderful coins. We have one more final moon that we need to get before we actually get out of here entirely because there's really no point. Um, we probably will be heading back to Cascade to get that one moon and then we'll call it apart because I actually do not know how long I've been going. Anyways, this is actually fairly easy to get. You can either use a cheap cheap or you can go ahead and just literally just use Mario and ground pound all the way you should have enough time to be able to get it because it shouldn't really take you that long but other than that that's really it so we cannot get that moon now until we come back it looks like it's about to grow but i don't really know how long it actually takes before it ends up growing so for now let's go ahead and just put our um just put our savings inside our little Earth thing, shall we? Because there's nothing else we can do right now. So, huzzah! <laughs> nice. Alright, and with that... We can actually end up heading back to Cascade Kingdom. So I can go ahead and showcase that one particular moon. I'm glad that we reached Wooden Kingdom. But for right now, we need to head back to Cascade Kingdom. You can actually skip this because it technically is considered a loading screen. So we can kind of skip it so you don't really have to worry about it. However, these dialogues are always new. Until later on, which they actually stop being new and they can they end up being... They don't really do it anymore. They just kind of go from point A to point B. Alright. And with that, let's head back to Cascade Kingdom. It actually does not take that long for the game to load. Thank God for that. <laughs> so, actually, I think they actually increased the loading time for this one. Alright. So, to be able to find said moon, there's essentially... The difference in the picture is that there was actually an extra teeth here. You can't really tell by that, but th there was indeed an extra teeth, and this is where that extra teeth is located. Basically, find the difference in the photo, that's basically what that one is. Anyways, that is it for that. So in the next episode, we'll actually be heading to Wooden Kingdom, so I'll be seeing you guys next time, but we'll go ahead and get a little bit, uh, slightly more, um, factory-esque in our Mario games. Anyways, Kopika, over now. Laters!